Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at the Artillery Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian by Hot Toys. The box is a classic shoebox design featuring multiple photographs of the figure in action. Lifting off the top of the shoebox, we're going to have yet another photo of the figure in action. We lift this off to reveal the tray and figure inside. Connected to the cover of the main tray is going to be this smaller accessory tray that's going to have your swap out hands and your mortars. In the main tray is going to be your artillery stormtrooper, the display base, the mortar, and his backpack along with some extra wrist pegs. Let's get all of these pieces out of the tray. The artillery stormtrooper, here you're going to have his backpack with magnetic function, four separate detonators also magnetic, two loose mortars, five swap out hands, the large articulated mortar itself, the display base, and a display base overlay featuring a sand-like graphic. Now let's get a close look at the Stormtrooper's armor. The Artillery Stormtrooper is the classic TK design, but with these accents of this bright kind of mustard yellow, seeing it right up there on the face, down along striping the chest, some of the areas down on to the arms, as well as here along the ankle, knee, and right there on the thigh. Now the helmet itself has been given a little bit of wear and weathering, hints of dirt right up here. The pauldron done in that mustard yellow, but in a leather color, and it has tight stitching on the side, so it wraps around cups in a nice fold right there. That stitching also in the front on the leather here, and on the other side, you're going to have the little metal rivets holding it on. Now those accents of color and wear are continued down here onto the chest region, as well as the belt, and here you're going to have those accents of the little gray dots as well as the blue ones. Spinning around to the back, we're going to have the 011 that we're used to. Back here, there's going to be a magnet for the backpack to attach, as well as one down here on the belt that you will magnetically attach the detonator. Down on the legs, we have the two shin guards that are slightly different, classic in the Stormtrooper look, and it highlighted with that color there. Down around the base of the armor, you're going to see a lot of wear and tear, a lot of the dirt and scrapes, as well as noticing the color variant between that bright and glossy armor and then kind of the matte color of the white leather shoe. It's time to see how the articulation works on this TK Stormtrooper. For articulation here on the head, we have that classic ball joint there. We're also going to be able to move the entire head forward to the side because of the additional neck joint. Down here on the arm, the pauldrons do have an elastic band underneath, so when we lift those arms to the side, we can move it out of the way and go up almost all the way straight out. As far as our front to back, we're able to move this all the way past 90 and straight back as well. The elbow is double jointed and the armament also can move out of the way in order for you to go a little bit further into that position with a traditional wrist peg design. Now as for the chest, this is an all armored area, so the ability to swivel and pivot is going to be limited. Most of your movement is going to happen down here in the hips. So let's take a look at that articulation now. For the leg and hip articulation, we do have that armor, but we have that soft undersuit. It's going to allow us Pull the leg out to the side. As far as our front to back, keeping in mind we do have that armament, but we can go almost straight out. These are going to be able to move out of the way for you. The knee double jointed as well. The shin guard is not glued in place, so you'll be able to cover up that joint. That's going to be the ball jointed articulation of the ankle. Let's look at the accessories that come with this figure. First up is going to be the military backpack. It's going to have the three detonators, and in this slot here, the loose detonator has magnets, and it will magnetically attach here. This detonator will also attach onto the back of the figure. Let's take a look at the detail and work in here. The metal washing, the rubbing, you're going to have the three little red lights there, the weathering and dirt inside the yellow canister. 
Here is that individual one. As I said, this is magnetic. It attaches right into it like so. Here on the side, you're going to have the four slots and that's gonna hold the standalone mortar shells. And those push and hold right inside the backpack. Now the pack itself is magnetic. There's a foam pad here that attaches to the back of the figure and protects it when it's in place. Here's that large mortar cannon and that has a lot of great paintwork on there even though it's mostly in that metallic color you're having all those paint scrapes little hints of color and the little kind of mustard yellow or orange highlighted throughout over here on this side at the little red and blue as well as down here now down here on the side there is a little metal ring speaking of delicate metal pieces on the two front articulated legs here, you're going to see that there are little metal springs. Those are functioning metal springs. So when you go and hold them down, they fold just flat and in one direction. The foot also is articulated depending on how you position and at what angle you'll place the mortar cannon as well as the base also is articulated. Now we have right and left weapon holding hands, a little variation on each one. A pair of right and left fist with that hint of yellow. And a left gesturing hand. Our traditional Star Wars display base with that nameplate, as well as over here, you're gonna have an overlay for the stand that has a sand type graphic printed on it. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Artillery Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian by Hot Toys. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. And make sure to tune in to Unsealed or Revealed, where we have more fun with this figure. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.